want to generate images like this and never worry about paying a single penny and generate unlimited images for as long as you want, you've clicked on the right video. Now you guys might have heard about tools such as Midjourney, DALI or even ChatGPT Image Generator. Let me tell you guys, all of these tools use a much inferior diffusion model to generate images than the one that I'm about to show you guys in this video. And the results are going to speak for themselves. The AI image generator I'm about to show you guys can generate hyper-realistic images, animated images, high-quality wallpapers, etc. You would have the option to choose between a plethora of styles for your images and you're going to be able to generate up to 32 images with one single prompt and pay exactly $0 for it. So without any further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first thing that you guys want to do is click the link in the description box down below and it's going to take you to this website right here. It's called GitHub. Now do not freak out if you're not a programmer because you don't need to be a programmer to follow any of the steps that I'm about to show you guys in this video. Basically, what you want to do is create an account on GitHub. Once you've created your account, scroll all the way down and click right here where it says open in Colab. Colab is basically a tool developed by Google that lets you write and execute Python codes straight through your web browser. But again, you do not have to write a single code as we already have codes right here. But first, we're going to click on this button right here and connect our GPU so that we could actually run the code. Once you've done this, just press this play button right here so that Collab will actually start running the code and install Focus, which is the name of the software used for generating AI images. Now, this might take a little while depending on your internet connection. It took me about 15 minutes to actually finish the entire process. But basically, once everything's been set, you should be able to see that it says app started successful use the app with this or this. So what you're gonna do is click on the link that ends with dot live. And there you have it guys, we're officially inside of the Focus software. It looks extremely basic, but trust me guys, it can do more than any paid AI generative image models that you might have come across. Now I'm going to show you guys how this tool works, but before that, let me tell you guys that by accessing Focus like this, that is through Google Colab, you're not running it locally on your computer. This means you're connected to the internet to use this program. But you could also straight up just download it onto your computer by clicking on this link right here on the same page that we went to before. Once the download is completed, just extract all the files using WinRAR and then click on the run file right here. It will download the entire software locally on your computer and you can generate unlimited images for free. Once the download is completed, it's going to open up in your browser. But as you can see right here, it's running locally without any internet connection. So you could pretty much use whichever way you like. So now that we're here, I'm going to go through some of the features on the software briefly. And then later, I'm going to use these features to show you how they work. So first, let's take a look at what happens when you hit advanced. I'm going to come back to the input image option later on. But first, let's check this out. So right here on top, you've got three options, speed, quality, and extreme speed. So the options are pretty self-explanatory, but just briefly, speed would generate the image faster, quality would prioritize the image quality, and extreme speed would prioritize speed over everything else. So for our AI model, I'm gonna go for the highest quality. And then below that, you've got the aspect ratio of the image. There's plenty of options that you can go for, but the usual aspect ratio for an Instagram post is one by one. So we're gonna select that. And then you've got the number of images you want to generate for one particular prompt. You can generate up to 32 images per prompt, which is insane, but it's also going to take a lot longer the more images you select. So for now, we're just going to stick with two. And then you have a negative prompt, which you can use to mention anything in specific that you don't want in the image or something that you would not want the image to be. I don't really have anything in mind right now, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now, if you go over to style, you need to make sure to search for this art style right here it's called hyper realism this would give us the realistic look for our ai model the other two options we could just leave it as default now let's say for example i want to generate an image of cristiano ronaldo begging in the slums with torn clothes what i like to do is go over to chat gpt and tell it to elaborate more on the description that i have if you just hint at an idea to ChatGPT and ask it to be more elaborate with the description, it will give you a much better prompt, which in turn will significantly enhance your image. So let's copy this prompt right here and paste it onto Focus. Of course, if you want to make any changes to the prompt, you certainly can, but I like to go ahead with this prompt and we'll see what we get. <laughs> 
So as you guys can see right here, this is what we got. It's absolute magic. Look at the details on this image right here. It's absolutely incredible. Now, this was just a tiny glimpse of what you can do with this software. There's so much more that you can do with it. And I'm going to be making more videos showing you guys how to use it better. I already have a video where I've shown you guys how to use some of the features like face swap, etc. If you guys want to check that out, the video is right here. With that being said, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay ahead of the game and keep up to date with all the latest AI tools and how to actually make money with them with that being said thanks a lot for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one